So then guys, it's finally happening. Apple is preparing to deliver the Mac Studio upgrade that many professionals and power users have been waiting for. The year 2026 might just be the moment when Apple's desktop lineup takes a massive leap forward with the arrival of the Mac Studio, powered by the all-new M5 Max and M5 Ultra chips. This isn't just another incremental update. It's shaping up to be one of the most transformative Mac launches in years. For a quick bit of context, let's rewind a little. The current generation Mac Studio, the 2025 model, introduced some powerful configurations, including the M4 Max and the M3 Ultra. At the time, those were impressive steps forward, giving creators and professionals a serious amount of computing muscle in a compact, elegant form factor. But like every Apple product cycle, it didn't take long before attention turned to what's next. And now, according to multiple reports and supply chain leaks, Apple is well into development of the next-generation Mac Studio. It's rumored to feature redesigned internals, advanced cooling, upgraded port options, and most importantly, the new Apple M5 Max and M5 Ultra, chips that could redefine performance standards across the entire Apple Silicon lineup. A brief look back, the evolution of Mac Studio. When Apple first introduced the Mac Studio in 2022, it filled a gap that had existed for years a compact desktop Mac that sat right between the Mac Mini and the Mac Pro. It delivered workstation-level performance without the massive price tag or size of the Mac Pro. By 2025, Apple had refreshed the Mac Studio with new chips, bringing the M4 Max and M3 Ultra options. The M4 Max variant packed up to a 16-core CPU and a 40-core GPU, and at around $1,999, it was a solid deal for video editors, 3D designers, and developers who needed raw power in a small footprint. The M3 Ultra configuration, starting at $3,999, was targeted toward those who wanted maximum horsepower. However, despite the impressive specs, many reviewers and users felt that the performance jump from the M2 Ultra to the M3 Ultra wasn't as dramatic as expected. The M4 Max often delivered near-identical real-world results at a much lower cost. That meant that even though the M3 Ultra offered an 80-core GPU and a 32-core CPU, with 8 efficiency cores and 24 performance cores, it didn't justify being double the price for most use cases. That's exactly why 2026 is expected to be such a pivotal year. Apple has learned from this feedback and the M5 generation could be the turning point that redefines what the Mac Studio stands for. Design, familiar outside, smarter inside. Don't expect Apple to completely overhaul the external look of the Mac Studio in 2026. Apple tends to keep its designs consistent for several years, refining them only when absolutely necessary. The 2026 Mac Studio will likely keep the same compact aluminum chassis, but under the hood, the internal architecture is expected to be significantly re-engineered. We're hearing that Apple is experimenting with enhanced thermal management, allowing the M5 Ultra to sustain peak performance for longer periods. Some insiders have mentioned that the cooling chamber might use a new vapor-based design, similar to what's used in the MacBook Pro's logic board, to handle the extra heat from the higher clock cores in the M5 lineup. Another subtle but meaningful upgrade could be in port configuration. Expect Thunderbolt 5 support across all models this time, including the M5 Max version. In the previous generation, Thunderbolt 5 ports were exclusive to the Ultra variant, while the Max version only featured them on the rear. In 2026, Apple may unify this experience, ensuring professionals have identical connectivity regardless of which chip they choose. Additional ports, such as HDMI 2.2, dual Ethernet, possibly 10 gigabit standard, and SD Express card readers could be included to further enhance compatibility for content creators and production studios. The M5 Max, a new level of Apple Silicon performance. Let's start with the chip that will power the entry-level Mac Studio 2026, the Apple M5 Max. According to early performance estimates and insider reports, the M5 Max will deliver up to 25-30% to faster performance compared to the M4 Max, both in CPU and GPU workloads combined. 
The CPU will likely feature up to 18 cores, consisting of 14 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores, offering a significant boost in multi-core performance. The GPU could jump from 40 cores in the M4 Max to 42 cores in the M5 Max. While that increase may not sound dramatic on paper, Apple's real strength lies in architectural improvements, faster neural engines, wider memory bandwidth, and refined transistor efficiency thanks to TSMC's 2 nanometer process. This new manufacturing process allows higher transistor density, improved power efficiency, and better thermal balance, all contributing to smoother sustained performance. Apple's new neural processing unit, NPU, Inside the M5 lineup is rumored to deliver nearly twice the AI computing speed of the M4 series. With Apple leaning heavily into on-device AI integration across Mac OS, this could be one of the most future-proof chips in Apple's desktop history. The M5 Ultra, the true powerhouse. Now, here's where things get seriously exciting. The Apple M5 Ultra. If the M5 Max is the efficient professional's dream, then the M5 Ultra is the creative industry's ultimate weapon. The M5 Ultra is expected to deliver an enormous 40 to 50% performance boost compared to the M3 Ultra, skipping the entire M4 Ultra generation. This leap will be achieved not only by core count increases, but also by architectural and fabrication improvements. We're expecting up to a 36-core CPU configuration with 28 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores, alongside a staggering 84-core GPU. This means Apple is going beyond its previous limits, giving creators unprecedented computing power in a machine that still fits comfortably on a desk. The memory system will likely continue Apple's unified memory approach, supporting up to 256GB of unified RAM with blistering bandwidth speeds. For those handling massive 8K ProRes files, complex 3D scenes, or AI model training, this level of integration will deliver performance that's hard to match even for Windows workstations with discrete GPUs. Early prototype benchmarks, if accurate, suggest that the M5 Ultra might outperform even the top-end M3 Ultra by up to 45% in GPU tasks and 35% in multi-core CPU rendering. Performance expectations beyond numbers. Performance isn't just about core counts, it's about optimization. Apple's software hardware synergy has always been its secret weapon, and with macOS 16, or potentially macOS 17 by the time this releases, we're likely to see optimizations that make the M5 series truly shine. Expect tasks like real-time 8K video editing, multi-layer After Effects rendering, and Blender simulations to see significant time reductions. The new chips will also include improved machine learning cores, accelerating tasks like voice recognition, photo analysis, and AI content creation directly on the Mac Studio without the need for cloud processing. Battery life doesn't apply to desktop machines, but power efficiency still matters especially in environments with multiple workstations running simultaneously. The M5 Ultra's 2 nanometer design could reduce power consumption by up to 20%, leading to quieter fans and lower thermal load, even during demanding workloads. Expected release date. When to expect the M5 Mac Studio. All signs point toward a mid-2026 reveal, most likely during WWDC 2026. Apple traditionally reserves its high-end Mac announcements for developer events, and the timeline fits perfectly. Given Apple's recent launch cadence, production for the M5 chips should begin in late 2025, with mass shipments ready by spring 2026. This suggests an official unveiling around May or June 2026, followed by retail availability by July or August. Pricing predictions. How much will it cost? When it comes to pricing, Apple will probably maintain a similar structure to the current lineup. The Mac Studio with M5 Max is expected to start at around $1,999, while the M5 Ultra variant could start near $3,999. However, there's a wild card factor. Potential import tariffs or global economic shifts could slightly raise prices, especially outside the U.S. Apple, might also introduce new mid-tier configurations with additional storage or memory bundles, 
offering users more flexibility when customizing their setup. And yes, like before, Apple will probably offer binned versions of the M5 Max and Ultra chips, meaning slightly reduced core configurations at lower price points. This allows Apple to maximize yield and offer customers more entry options, connectivity, and expansion. One of the most important aspects of the Mac Studio has always been its port select. Ion, expect the 2026 model to expand on that strength even more. The front I.O. will likely feature dual USB-C slash Thunderbolt 5 ports, an upgraded SD Express card slot, and maybe even USB-A retention for legacy devices. On the back, expect six Thunderbolt 5 ports, dual HDMI 2.2 outputs, dual 10 gigabit Ethernet ports, and two additional USB-A ports. Apple may also introduce faster external storage compatibility, possibly PCIe Gen 5 NVMe speeds via a Thunderbolt 5, enabling up to 80 gigabits per second bandwidth for professional editing workflows. Mac OS optimization and AI integration. With the M5 lineup, Apple isn't just focusing on raw horsepower, it's focusing on intelligence. The new Mac Studio will likely launch alongside a version of Mac OS optimized for on-device AI, possibly branded as part of Apple Intelligence. Imagine being able to transcribe audio, summarize notes, auto-edit videos, or enhance photos with AI tools that run directly on your desktop, all powered locally by the M5's neural engine. This local processing approach not only improves speed and privacy, but also reduces reliance on cloud servers. Developers will likely get new APIs that allow them to tap directly into the M5 Ultra's neural performance cores, making creative tools faster than ever before. Who is a Mac Studio 2026 for? Apple's target market for the Mac Studio remains clear. Professionals, creators, and developers who want desktop class performance in a machine that doesn't dominate desk space. Video editors using Final Cut Pro, audio engineers working in Logic Pro, photographers using Lightroom, and even software developers compiling massive Xcode projects will benefit from the power of the M5 lineup. But the 2026 Mac Studio could also appeal to AI developers, 3D animators, and scientific researchers, thanks to the improved parallel compute capacity and unified memory. Essentially, it's becoming a workstation that can handle virtually anything thrown its way. Apple's silicon strategy, the bigger picture. The Mac Studio 2026 is more than just another desktop update. It's part of Apple's broader silicon roadmap. The M5 generation will bridge the gap between traditional computing and AI-driven workflows. We're already seeing Apple gradually position its chips not only as faster processors, but as intelligent engines capable of understanding data, media, and language. The M5 Ultra will be one of the first Apple Silicon chips built from the ground up with AI acceleration as a core function, not just an add-on. This means Mac OS and professional apps will likely start integrating generative AI features more deeply. From smart scene selection and video editing to context-aware coding assistance inside Xcode. Final thoughts. A new era for the Mac Studio. So what can we conclude? The Mac Studio 2026 is shaping up to be the most exciting upgrade in years. With the M5 Max and M5 Ultra, Apple is setting a new benchmark for what compact desktops can achieve. We're talking about faster CPUs, massive GPU power, smarter AI cores, improved thermals, and broader connectivity, all wrapped in the same iconic design that professionals already trust. If you've been holding off on upgrading your Mac Studio, this might be the version worth waiting for. The combination of two nanometers efficiency, Thunderbolt 5 speed, and Apple intelligence integration could easily make it the most capable all-in-one creative workstation on the planet.